guys, Mrs. Coleman. We're here to do our answer keys for lesser for lesson 10.9 in your math book. So for number one, they've already given you the equation. You just actually had to add the two numbers. So that's 362 grams. For number two, um, we know that it says that if one riding mower holds five liters of gas, and we want to know how many of those lawnmowers we can fill with a 20 liter gas can that we need to divide and 20 divided by four is, or I'm sorry, 20 divided by five is four. So it would be four gas tanks. For number three, when it says that Mac mixed four liters with two liters, that tells us that we need to add. So we have four plus two, which equals six. For number four, we have a nickel that has a mass of five grams and that there are 40 nickels in a roll. So what's the mass of that roll of nickels? Well, we don't need to know how many nickels are in that roll. It already tells us that. We need to know how much that mass is of the whole roll. So we would need to multiply five times 40, which would give us 200. And here we can use that zero trick by putting the zero at the end and then five times four is 20. For number five, um, we know that when it says how many times does she have to fill the three liter container in order to fill her fish tank, and we know how big her fish tank is that we need to divide. So 27 divided by three equals nine. For number six, um, we know that there are two different backpacks and that we need to know the total mass of both backpacks. So we need to add 15 and eight, which gives us 23 kilograms. So when you do number seven, um, you just need to make sure that your word problem that you write can be solved that shows equal groups of leaders. So basically either multiplication or division. For the next page, we're going to be on number one. Mickey's beagle has a mass of 15 kilograms. His dachshund has a mass of 13 kilograms. What is the combined mass of the two dogs? Which that combined means that we need to add. So that would make 28. When we see that Lois put eight liters of water in a bucket, and that at the end of the day that there were two liters left, that word left tells us that we need to subtract. So eight minus two is six liters. For number three, we have to work backwards and opposite on this, okay? So Josiah has three packs of animals. He gives six animals to his sister, but then he has nine left. So we start at the bottom. We work backwards and opposite. So nine instead of minus six, we're going to add six to make 15. 15 instead of times three, we're going to divide by three. And then that gives us five animals in each. For number four, Tom jogged three tenths of a mile. Betsy jogged five tenths and Sue jogged two tenths. So who, jog who jogged a distance longer than four tenths of a mile? Well, what we do is we always, when comparing, always look at the denominator first since all of our denominators are the same now we just look at our numerator which numerator is larger than four well that would be five tenths and the person that jogged that much was betsy so our answer is betsy for number five bob started mowing at 9 55 25 minutes to mow the front and 45 minutes to mow the back. What time did he finish mowing? So that means that we start at 9.55 and then we move forward in increments of 5 or 10, um, 5 or 10 minutes at a time until we get to 25 minutes and then 45 minutes. And when we do both of those, we end up getting to 11.05 a.m., and we could use a clock for that. We could use a number line for that. You could just use our T-chart for that where you move on. Zoom would not work um, as much in this because we are not moving to, um, as, like we're not moving as much of an hour. Um, you might be able to make it work with that, uh, just depending on how your brain works. Um, for number six, Juliana wants to find the mass of a watermelon. What unit should she use? Well, she should use kilograms um, because a watermelon is kind of heavy. It's not super duper light. It's not so heavy that nobody can 
can lift it, but it is definitely heavier. And so it would be a lot of grams if that's what we were to use. All right, you guys are doing amazing. Um, this will be the last video for now for our math book checks as we're not going to be using our math book in the next couple weeks. So I look forward to the day that I get to see your beautiful faces in person again. And you guys have a great day and a wonderful weekend. I love you. Bye.